Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, that Australian headache was a headache, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'll show you the quicker one on it, but mainly it's to show you how you can do your own card location kind of a trick, right? It's a good way to work out where you're going. Start off with your packet, Ace to King, in your four suits, preferably in chased order, makes it easier to remember. Right, so they're all in order. Then you come up with whatever routine you want to do. Um, let's say I'll do a quick one. So say we start off with eight down unders. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right, bring this in. Keep a note of what you're doing. So we're doing eight down unders, right? And speed it up a bit. We'll do double down unders, if you see what I mean. We will put two cards down and one underneath. So we're getting rid of two cards instead of the one. We we'll do, say, nine of them. So that was one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six, that's seven, that's eight, and that's nine. So do nine double downs and under. Um, try and get rid of half of the packet, do a quick reverse farrow. So throw a reverse farrow in. You always want to try keeping a check on how many cards you've got left in your packet. Because you want to end with four cards in your hand, obviously, if you're going to use the four aces. So we're just doing a reverse farrow. Um, right here, we'll end up with four cards. Do a reverse farrow, six. If I, deal, if I now deal down six cards, Deal down six and finish with the reverse farrow. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a quick reverse farrow. And I end up with these four cards. Eight of clubs. Three of hearts. Two of spades. And the ace of diamonds. Right? You know you've ended up with them cards. <coughs> oh, and they, they've came out in chased order, if you look at that. They actually came out in chased order, which is pretty cool. Now, you can talk amongst yourselves for a minute, because I'm just going to have to re rejig my deck, get it back to ace to king in the suits. So just give us a minute while I sort this out. I'm sorry I'm not talking, I'm concentrating hard. If I concentrate any harder, I just might start singing. And I don't think any of us want that, do we? You know what my singing's like. Bloody atrocious. I'm nearly there, look at that. We're halfway through the spades already. And these are running pretty well, look at that. How cool was that one? Nice big run at the end. And race the two, the three, the four, there's the five and the six and the seven and the eight and the nine and the ten, Jack, Queen and King. And we're back into order, right? Now, all you need to do is look for them four cards and know what position they're in, in the packet. So eight of clubs. Well, you start with clubs, so the eight is obviously going to be the eighth card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're looking for the three of hearts. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's the 16th card in the pack. Now you want the two of spades. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 
Two of Spades is the 28th card, and the Ace of Diamonds, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So the Ace of Diamonds is the 40th card. Right. Now, take your Aces out of the packet. While they're in this way, it's so much easier to find them because you know that they're in the reach of the colours. You take your Aces out. Now I've already got some in this packet, so I'll just turn it over and find them again. Because obviously I needed them, needed to have them when I'd done the headache. Right, and you might have guessed, yes, they are four marked cards. Marked very discreetly, just with a little pencil line just in that corner up here. And obviously in that corner just down there, right? Right, there was a knock at the door. I know you didn't get to see that one because I just stopped the video. Right, where was it to? Yeah, you got four marked cards, right? So you know the positions your aces should be in. You know they're going to come out in chase order as well, so put them in in chase order. It'll be even better. Uh, the first one needs to go in eighth place. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put a marked card in the seventh place so the ace will go in eighth place. The next one is at 16th, so that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14, a marked card of 15, your ace at 16, next one's 28, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, a marked card of 27, your ace in 28th. Um, next one's 40, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, a marked card in 39th, and your last ace in 40th. So if you spread the, if I spread the cards out, you can see that there is gaps between them, obviously, because you see me counting them. Right. At which point you can strip out your four aces because you don't need them in the pack anymore. Have them on the top. Do make some little gag about getting the four aces out of the pack. There you go. You got the four aces. Spread your packet out so you can see your little marks. Take your first ace and you put it in just behind the first mark. Take the second ace behind the second mark. The third ace behind ooh, the third mark. And then the last ace behind the last mark. And they can see that they're going in in different places. You can close up. You can clearly show them going into the middle of the packet. Right. Then you go through your little rundown. So it's eight down unders. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. And nine double ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. In a reverse farrow. Sorry for being quiet, but I'm knackered, running down the stairs to get the door, running back up again. It bloody killed me. Then we dealt six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we done a reverse farrow. Get rid of them three cards. And then that leaves you with your four aces. So by using that method, you can work out where you need to put the cards depending on what style of trick you're doing depending on how quick you want to get rid of them if you're only doing it with half a pack obviously just use two suits easter king easter king yeah and there you go i hope you've enjoyed the explanation if not the actual trick i should have thought about it before i put it up yeah it was way too long wasn't it all oh, oh, I don't reverse your up and uh, down and unders to unders and downs. Oh, boring. Anyway, thank you very much for watching Apple putting up with me. I will see you again soon.